So today I figured we'd start off talking about our backup fullback, rotational running back, one of the OGs of this team. We call him the heartbeat of this team, Todd Daniel. Now when Todd Daniel joined this team, our entire roster was gutted. We found this man on the golf team. That's how desperate we were. But it turns out this man is the one player that keeps this team together. He is from First Colony, Texas. I'll put a little graphic on the screen because I honestly have no idea what that means, where that is. But apparently the Minute Maid headquarters are there, so that's something interesting I suppose. But yeah, there is nothing but good things we can say about Todd Daniel. This man helps old ladies cross the street, spends time volunteering at soup kitchens, feeding the homeless, rescuing animals, and honestly he's probably a shining example of everything we want on this team, even though the rest of our team is filled with psychopaths. All right, folks, welcome back to the Marshall Football Walk-On Dynasty. Today, we're taking on the ULM Warhawks. They are 5-5. Five and five. Gonna have to get them that six loss because we are on a two-game losing streak after following a four-game win streak, so we need to come in here and right the ship. We are being projected to win. There is C-plus overall. We have one recruit coming in. It's actually going to be my nephew, and if I know anything about him, he'll be rooting for the opposing team all game, so let's get into this. They're going to be a 77 overall, still better than us, but we have a fighting chance today. They got two players out. We'll take a look at those guys. Got our 75 anniversary commemorative. God, those uniforms look good. Look at that. First good play, TFL for Chris Banks maybe, yes. Stanford Chase with the tackle. We're gonna hold them to a field goal potentially here unless they got some balls on them. They're gonna wisely take the field goal. We started that drive like garbage, but good finish by the defense. Goal line stand. Look at Marcus <laughs> Hopkins with some moves. Did anyone just see that guy go flying? Okay, we cannot start like that. They did not start like that. We cannot start like our garbage. Good stuff by Seth. Take five every day. Jampy right where he needs to be. That was an improvisation type play. Seth Jones is calling his own shots out here. Offensive coordinator be damned. Jason Sanchez, he's been killing it in the slot recently. And it's easy money to Joe Vaughn Austin, the other transfer receiver, Seth Jones, with a money pass. Man, we came out angry on that offensive drive. And they just eradicated us. Our defense, non-existent. We're going to need to figure something out. I don't know what it is, but they are running fast and just jamming it down our throat. Jovan Austin with the dive. 35 yards. Seth Jones just put that one on a rope. Todd Daniel, backup fullback, five yards, we'll take it, he's a good kid, a walk on, one of the leaders of this team despite not being a starter. Joe Von Austin again is cooking number 14 out there, what the hell are you complaining about son? Carlos Jackson grabs it from behind, that man just snagged that one from outer space, touchdown, we ain't playing games with you, you Warhawks. Defensively, we've been terrible, but if the offense can cook like this all game, we'll be fine. What are we doing out here? Scotty Watkins luckily secures the tackle, but we can't get a stop on defense. We can't even get them to not complete a pass. They are just running through us right now. Cover three is probably a horrible call here. We can't get off a block. Come on, guys. If we can just get off of some blocks, we are just not strong enough in the trenches right now. And that'll do it. He's going to get in Garrett 
Common, another quarterback that's going to give me nightmares. At least he's got a uh, sleeve on his wrist. He's to the 20. Jerry Turner just cooked you. Too many moves, but he's going to get us to the 50. Get our run game going to get a little bit. Jampy will take 10. Seth Jones putting you in a blender, son. Get the hell off of him. Jason Sanchez, that was sketchy. Todd Daniel, the fullback, almost gets himself in. The walk-on. I'm telling you, this kid is a good person. I believe in him. Jampy is going to get himself in. The offensive line wins the battle. Our fat guys are better than their fat guys. We eat Taco Bell. We eat KFC. We eat McDonald's. Y'all are on a nutrition program. We are built differently. You know, defensively, it's been a rough day. I think defensive coordinator Gerald Lewis has been on a mission. Krispy Kreme Donuts must have some kind of deal going on, and we all just got to the wayside. What are we doing out here? Do we have to score 90 points to win this game? I I'm not here for that kind of performance. I legitimately just don't have an entire iota of an idea of how we can stop these guys. They're just better. They're just stronger than us. We can't tackle. Like, what are we doing out here? Light him up. Thank you, Nathan Stewart. Garrett Common. This dude eats, like, kale salads. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and let this dude think he's a god. Like, we better... We need to do something. Defensively, we need to prove we're not losers. And we can't get off of a block here. My god, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. We can't stop them. This dude has 150 yards and a half. Rayshon Lewis spears that fool. We got nobody out there. Go figure. We're gonna have to score every time we touch the ball. <laughs> I just threw that up because I'm having fun and Carlos Jackson snags it. Yep, we don't care. We'll do this all day with you. Carlos just toasted your ass. And we don't get it. Six yards. We are going to go ahead and take the field goal here just because we kind of got to. Third and five. Can we get a stop? I highly doubt it. They had the corner route. Something has got to happen. He just throws it into the dirt, and obviously, now they're going to have to punt the ball. What the heck was that? Carlos will do it to you. Let's keep moving. Vince Randall. We got to call a timeout here. I mean, this corner is going to get bullied all day. Ethan Riley. We had him not open. But he's going to get a four-yard touchdown. We went for the ballsy play, and now he is just taking a nap over there. That's very characteristic. JMP had a lane, and they had some bad issues over there. Bad pursuit and angles by them. Great ball carrier vision by Jampy there. Third and inches, the O-line heating up here. Taking a look here, we've got a few guys hot right now. Our right guard is a dog. Jovan. Seth Jones, I was hoping to slide there, but he's got different ideas in that brain of his. Jerome Skinner, get in there, son. Our backup tight end. Todd Daniel, the walk-on, the heartbeat of this team. I said at year one, he was the heartbeat of the walk-ons, and he might not get a lot of playing time, but this kid is built differently, and he's bald. Sending a blitz, they get it out. These guys are just not going to quit. Stan Ford Chase, the best linebacker in America just ruined your life this man is ripped his arms are like tree trunks 
Jason Sanchez, man, just changing directions. Ooh, and Seth Jones. Jerry Turner will take five. Could have been more explosive, but blocking was not ideal. Dom Wilson, look at his big ass tumble. That man is like a graceful ballerina out there. Todd Daniel just making some great decisions out there. Seth and Jampy are like volcanoes. Got a linebacker creeping up, and it don't even matter. We're still going to get it. He's going to try and scramble. He might not be able to get the pass off. It's picked up by the... <sighs> I thought we had a lane. That one's on me. Your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Alexander. Good tackle by Scotty Watkins, I believe. We finally get some pressure back there. That'll be a TFL for him. Stanford Chase gets back there. That man throws him off. But it's not going to matter. His teammate is there to save him. Jonathan Scott with the sack. Fourth and 11. Punt that ball back. Stanford Chase. There ain't no way that freaking accountant tax expert just did that to us. This man works at H&R Block up part-time. No way. Ethan Riley, they sent a blitz. It was ill-advised. Good job by Mr. Riley. We are trusting Dom Wilson. He puts his head down, and that was a huge play, believe it or not. Ethan Riley gonna let us salt some more of this clock. We are draining this thing fast as hell. As you can see, our O-line is heated up. Seth Jones is a volcano. And Todd Daniels gonna get us another one. Jampy is going to be untouched and again with the late hits. Number 31 is a criminal for doing that. Unnecessary. That was like that hit and we are Marshall in the practice scene where he gets demolished like 30 seconds after the play is over. And we take a commanding lead. We have officially broken their spirit and we're back on the winning track. Marco's got to do 45 push-ups. Fumbled it, and they recover it? Come on, now. Jerry Turner, come on, now. We can't be doing this. At least he secures the tackle. Milk some more clock. What a dime. Aaron Brink. And we secure the onside kick. Good job by the hands team. Terry Rich is trying to stay up and go for a tutty. Going to go ahead and just pile forward, make them burn those timeouts, and this one's all over. But the crying. And that should salt it away. There goes all their timeouts. I'll bring you guys in if something weird happens. Going to go ahead and kneel the ball here and get out of here with a solid two possession victory seth jones player of the game with three touchdowns just looked like a surgical precision he might need to get into the medical field there great game seth jones stats on the day seth jones 25 for 31 288 yards three touchdowns to zero picks can't get any better than that jampy 22 for 114 five average and two touchdowns can't ask for much more from your starting running back seth jones almost cracked 100 Todd Daniel, the heartbeat, the bald man, with one touchdown, and he made some good plays for us. Carlos leads the team with receiving with 94 yards and a touchdown. Ethan Riley got himself a touchdown. Joe Von Austin was torching him all day, and he got himself a tutty. Rayshon Lewis, again, leads the team with tackles. TFL-wise, we got four Nathan Stewart, Johnny Scott, Chris Banks, and Scotty Watkins. Stanford Chase, interception. This dude is a monster player. Pat Williams forced to fumble. Can't forget about that one, although we didn't recover. Marcus and Jerry did good in the return game as well. So that's going to do it for ULM. Last game of the year, we got App State. And next episode, we're going to be doing our player awards. I haven't got it all worked out yet, but we're going to go for our offensive MVP, 
defensive MVP, uh, overall team MVP, and uh, kind of a comeback player of the year award. We're going to do probably three points for the winner of each team award. We'll kind of sprinkle those in. App State's going to be a B overall, not a gimme by any means. We got a ton of recruits coming in for visits, but that'll do it. That's all I got for today. Everybody have a good day or night, and just praise every god in the world that we are going to officially have a winning season.